Yes, so this is going to be pretty fun. You guys can comment in the chat here. I would love to hear what you all are doing, what you all want to say. Let me turn on some lights here. There we go. Turn down some of that light so you can see it's not so bright. There we go. Perfect. So I am excited because today I'm going to cook one of my favorite meals and it's going to be simple. I'm going to use these noodles here. These are some vegan noodles. They are Danzai noodles. They are vegan. They are easy to cook. So I'm going to go ahead and get those going and we're going to do just like a nice little broth here. Got a vegetable broth. So I don't know about you, but I'll just tell you a little bit about me. I love to travel. And through all of this, I have not been able to travel, which is a little depressing, but we're going to make it fun. We're going to travel through food. So grab your pen and paper. I actually have two meals on my counter here that I'm going to prepare. One is going to be with the noodles and the other one is a pretty fun curry dish, a Japanese curry dish. So why did I choose Japanese food today? Personally, I love Japan. I travel, I've been to Japan three times, I think three times. I actually just texted my friend in Japan and said, guess what I'm cooking? And I just took a picture of everything on the table and she was like, oh my goodness, are you cooking that? So usually when she comes, she cooks and she does an amazing job. She is like superwoman. But uh, I'm learning, I don't cook Japanese food. I don't think I've ever cooked it. Only time I've cooked it was when she was here visiting from Japan. So she's on speed dial right now on the phone in case I need her. And uh, we're going to get started. But I've got two meals here. We're going to start out with these Danzai noodles. They are pretty easy to cook, just like any regular noodles. But guess what? Everything is in Japanese on here. Can you see that? <laughs> and I have not been practicing my Japanese. So fortunately, they do have how to cook in English. So some of the ingredients in here, you know, basic, basic noodle ingredients, but they are vegan uh, shelf life one year, but you basically bring the water to boil, put the noodles in the boiling water, boil until tender, test to see whether they are done, put the noodles in the bowl and add a few drops of olive oil, just like you would with any other noodles. So that's why I say you can try different noodles. You all, I encourage you try different noodles. This is a, a new one for me. I've got noodles down there, but I said, I want to try some different noodles. What else do I have? Some carrots, got some carrots, I already washed them. Got a yellow onion. I love scal. Um, I was gonna say scallions. <laughs> I just forgot the name of these. I can scallions is in my head, but that is not what these are. Shallots. Thank you. Shallots. Whoever helped me there. Thank you. Shallots. I love shallots. They are like a cross between onions and garlic. And then I have some garlic here. Also, I don't know about you, but I forgot to take this out. But I have some ginger. Here we go. It doesn't call for ginger, but I love ginger. So I put my ginger inside of the freezer because I buy a bunch of it. You know, you buy the big ginger root and it goes bad. So I choose to just chop it up into little pieces and then put it in the freezer. And actually that makes it easier to peel once it thaws off. I did it the other week. I was like, why have I been struggling with ginger root? Cutting it, almost cutting my fingers every time. So easy, easy, easy. And then I have some from my farmer's market. I have some satay barbecue sauce. I could have made it myself, but um, I just didn't. And then last but not least, what do we have here? Can you see that? Tofu. So we are going to do this instead of using pork or chicken or any meat, we're going to use tofu. Now I'm going to use this. I have another block because my other recipe calls for tofu as well. So Got our tofu there. It is full of water here because I had to press it for about an hour. My presser did not come in like it was supposed to. It was supposed to come in from the store. It did not. So what we're going to do today is I was going to make sushi, but I decided not to. So let's see. Okay. I'm going to turn this light down just a little because I can, I think this tofu is a little bright. So you guys probably can't see it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you can see it still, but this is the tofu here. Little block of tofu. So I'm going to cut it and do it like it's on skewers. Like, so it, the recipe calls for it to be like on skewers.
let me check this. So thank you, Dolores. Okay, there we go. Can you hear me now? I'll wait and see in the chat if the volume is working. I didn't have the mic on right here, so it's probably very low. Let's see if you can hear me. So I'm going to assume you can hear me. I got my volume on now. Other mic was not on, so I apologize. But these are the actual cubes. So you see how these look here. Let me get a little closer. There we go. Perfect. It's good. Thank you, Dolores. So those are our cubes. What I'm going to do is go ahead and I did not grab it. Let me grab it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and marinate these inside a little bowl that I have right here. And what I'm going to use is the satay. You can use this satay barbecue sauce. We have a farmer's market here and you can buy pretty much any country that you want to travel to because that's what we're doing today. We are traveling to another country today. So I'm just going to take these pieces of tofu, be a little gentle with them because they will fall apart. I've been pressing this for an hour. I had it. I had a homemade presser because I ordered a presser from Amazon and I thought I pressed the order button or the buy button or whatever it was and I didn't. So I had to order it the other night because I'm cooking more tofu. I, I haven't really cooked with tofu much since I have been plant-based and I like it. I just haven't done it a lot because I'm just not in, into that texture. So anyway, so I ordered my, um, my presser and it was supposed to come, but then they pushed it back to Sunday. So then they pushed it back to Monday. So I'm hoping to get it. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and pour this over like so. And I want to marinate this for at least 30 minutes. There we go. Let me taste this. Real good. Mm. Oh, it's really good. And that's about all I'm going to use and just toss this. Oh, this is real good. It's got a kick to it, y'all. Mm. It's got it's it's a spicy barbecue, but it's not a Thai spicy. I don't know if you've ever eaten Thai food, but Thai food has a good kick. I love Thai food. I'm gonna have to do um a Thai dish, but I usually am lazy and just go buy it from my favorite Thai restaurant because they are so good. And uh I love some good Thai food, so I don't want to mess it up. But that's what cooking is all about is having fun. So put in the chat for me, who has, what's your favorite dish? What favorite country is your dish from? Um, I kind of like anything as long as it's not okra. That's me. I'm just not an okra per person. I grow it, but I don't like to eat it. There we go. Perfect. Got this in here. I don't like to waste a bit of it. And I didn't have to use a lot of it. So I'm going to close this back up. And I'm going to go ahead and cover this and put this in a refrigerator and let that sit for 30 minutes because I've got plenty of other things to do. Actually, I'm not going to cover it. I'm just going to sit it right inside of there. There we go. Perfect. Got my little hand towel here to wipe my hands off. And drop this inside of the I have my music going. I don't know who cooks with music. I do. I love to cook with music. My husband got his vaccine. Uh, he works in healthcare. We both do, but got his vaccine. So he is not feeling well today. Uh, so he has been down all day. So I am cooking. Okay, perfect. So what is all? I've got some other things that are going to go into this little soup. I got some carrots. I got these shallots, some garlic, some onions. I'm going to put a little ginger in there as well. And then I've got some cauliflower and some peas inside of the uh, freezer there. They're going to come next. And I'm letting this ginger root defrost because we're going to use that. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting up my carrots. I personally do not take off the outer edge. Um, so I'm just going to cut these. And let's see in the chat. You love that food. Which food do you love, Dolores? Because I love Thai food, too. I think that's what you're talking about. But I love Thai food. I just don't cook it. I think I've cooked Pad Thai.
Yeah, I think my mic died, so. There we go. I may have to, um, this mic has been dying more so. Can you hear me now again? Sorry about that. This mic, I just charged it before I did this, but it has been dying more often, so I may have to get another one. So if anybody has any suggestions on mics, please let me know because I have a mic that's hooked up to my computer but I don't have one out here in my kitchen. So I am going to work on getting a new mic. So perfect. Yeah, my mic died. I'm going to have to recharge it. I just charged it. I didn't think I would have to charge it again. So, oh, well, glad you could hear me. Thank you, D. Appreciate you. I hope you're resting on this Saturday. Your boy is out. He got a second dose. So he's not feeling too well. So he's resting down there. Ate some soup earlier. So I'm making some more soup for the next few days. And I uh, hope this turns out well. I tell you, my eyes water more with that shallot than it did these onions. I have a, um automatic thing that I usually use for my onions. But this was just half of an onion. So I didn't feel like I would cry that much. So, Okay, we are done with this one. Perfect. Now, got one more thing to cut up because I'm not doing these other carrots. Put those down over there. Put that onion over there with that. And I'm going to just clean up my mess here for a second because I don't like to have crumbs and stuff all around while I'm cooking. How many of you clean up while you cook? I'm pretty sure several of you do. I just don't like all that mess around. And I love a lot of garlic. Garlic is amazing for the body. So many benefits to the body with garlic. I would even eat it raw. Number two for you. Okay, you going for your second one too. I'm sure you will be just fine. He's good. He's just body aches. Just body aches. Just body aches, but... um. Yeah, so this is interesting. I got to work on me another camera because I like to bring my, you clean as you cook too. Yeah, I don't like a lot of stuff around while I'm cooking a messy counter. I don't, I don't like that. That's just me. I like to have space, clear counters, clean as I go. Um, but the last time I cooked live, I had my portable stove top right here in the middle so I may do that it's just not the aisles are not that big and when I boil these noodles I guess I can do it here I set it up right here I just um I don't like a little bit of space when I'm cooking how about you guys I don't need a big kitchen either uh, my kitchen is big enough we actually had a bigger kitchen in our other house and uh we hardly used all that space so when we redid this house, we made sure that, uh, well, I made sure, I was like, I don't really need a kitchen that huge. Just give me a basic, basic little area. And we don't need a big refrigerator. Like we had a huge refrigerator last time and the thing was empty half the time because I'll tell you why, we did eat food. So it wasn't that we didn't eat and we cooked at home, but I grew a lot of our food. So most of the food was outside. The food was not, you know, like, in the refrigerator we didn't have a lot of uh processed foods and things that needed to be refrigerated our freezer was always full though because i did can things i did freeze things from the year before like if you look behind me do you see all that stuff on the counter that is rainbow char i am going to bring that up to you guys in a second because i went grocery shopping out of my garden today and just absolutely amazing what I got. And I only went out there to check it, but we've had such a huge windstorm the last few days that yesterday when I went to, I had to film with somebody for gar a garden event and they were asking about my garden. And I went out there and I was like, oh my goodness, my rainbow chart is huge. And it was hanging over, it was so big. I'm, going, I'm getting a garlic press too. I should have ordered that when I got my tofu press. But 
I didn't. I keep forgetting, but I'm going to get a garlic press this time. Because me and this garlic. There we go. Um, but yeah, I was like, I got to get this rainbow chard off of there. It is just humongous. And I don't want it to be, you know, like tart, but it is beautiful. Mm, this garlic smells so good. Garlic smells delicious. Has anyone ever eaten raw garlic? Your goal is to grow your own food. That's a good goal. Uh, Ruth just, if she pops on here, Ruth just sent a picture of, she just got her garden system, her vertical aeroponic garden system. So I grow soil free um, on most of my stuff, but I do have um, an in-ground raised bed that I grow my potatoes in, my garlic in. Uh, I'll be doing garlic again this year. Some onions I grow in there. So Ruth just got hers and she started her seeds today. So she sent a picture. She is so excited. So let me bring, I'm going to move this out of the way because we are going over to the stove to start cooking. So we will see how that works because I normally hook everything to here and hang my phone here and cook here. But I'm going to bring this over here because I think you all deserve to see this. Check this out. Is this not gorgeous? These, and they're starting to wilt because they're off of the vine. But this is what I picked off today. That is crazy. That is a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm going to wash those because they're not because anybody touched them, but because they are full of pollen. We have yellow pollen. Let me see if I can get one. I think I covered over the ones with, here we go. They are covered in pollen. See all that pollen on there? Tons of pollen. So I've got to get that off. Uh, but this is so cool. It's kind of wilting because once you take things off of the vine, its source, they start to wilt. So check this out. It's like a little bouquet. That is so cool. But I'm going to wash these. Look at that little bouquet. That, But look at this color. That color is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm going to wash these and I'm going to include these in the soup. So that's going to be pretty good. We are going to go ahead and grab some. I'm going to move this out of my way because I'm not going to be cooking overhead. Things you got to do when you're cooking and recording. It's more than what you guys think. So this kind of is a behind the scenes for you all to see exactly what goes on when you're cooking. So. I'm going to go ahead and fill up some water so my noodles will get to cooking. Get that water boiling. There we go. Put that on the stove back there. Turn that up. And then I'm going to grab. Oh, turn the wrong aisle on. Then I'm going to grab this here and turn this aisle on. And let's get to cooking. There we go. Turn that on here. So I'm going to go ahead and wash some of these because they're going to go in. These noodles are going to go inside of here. So I'm going to go ahead and pour those over there. Vegetable broth will be over here as well for that soup. Got my onions and everything over there. My ginger root is still defrosting. So I'm going to let that defrost and I'm just going to cut that and put some of those, that ginger in there and let it cook. We are going to Use just a little bit of oil. I have some uh, olive oil right here that I'm just going to put in the pan when it's time to go. There we go. Perfect. And I love to use a little bit of aminos, Bragg's aminos, to give it a little bit of flavor. I got my pepper over here, a little bit of salt. Perfect. So we are going to just go ahead and lightly, I don't need many of these to cook in my soup, but I will tell you, you do want to have a good, because this right here is not going to be a lot. Rich color. Yes. The color is amazing. I mean, oh, it was one I did want to show you all because I'm going to post something. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? There's one that's about, it is so long. I think I found it. It is so long. Per, look at, look at that. I just wanted to see. It's about right here. 
Yep, it's about as long as my forearm. There's four serving all your uh four times the daily amount recommended of vitamin, I think it was vitamin K or A in this one leaf. In this one leaf. And most of the nutrition is in the stem. I don't know if you have ever juiced, if you are a juicer, if you've ever juiced the stem. I know when we cook collard greens and stuff, we just pull the leaf off and then toss the stem or whatever. But I'm going to tell you, when I was cutting these off, the juice from the actual stem was just splashing back into my face. These are just amazing. And the veins on these, I love to show like the veins. Shows the health of the plant. So I'm going to see. Yeah, we're getting this warm, nice and warm. Perfect. Because we're going to cook everything up. So this is a process. You get to see what goes into cooking. So I'm going to use a few of these because once you cook them down, you guys, it's not a lot. It's like, have you ever bought spinach from the store and you get the whole basket of spinach and when you go to cook it, it's all gone? This is pretty cute. This was a little one. It was just a new offshoot that was coming up out the middle of it. If you can see that, the little offshoot was coming up out the middle. So a whole new branch was coming up. So I am going to wash these really quickly. There we go. And they don't need much washing. And then I'm going to rinse them. I could probably rinse them, but I want to make sure that pollen, that pollen is really sticky. There we go. That pollen is really sticky. So I'm going to get some red ones because I love this red color. This red and orange color is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I'm just rinsing them, rinsing that pollen off. Because I do not feel like eating pollen. Crunching on pollen. I'm already going to be crunching on some nice rainbow char inside of my soup. But I do not want to crunch as I'm eating. Okay, perfect. I think that is enough. Rinse that off. Perfect. I'm going to let that dry. Let's see. Pan is warming up. So can you guys see? I'm going to pull you closer. Let me pull you closer just so you can see how's that. Let's see, this is, I usually cook on my top, which is on the, there we go. Perfect. So our noodles are going over there and this pan is getting warm. So we are warming this pan up. So I just bought this olive oil. So this is a new one. I ran out of my other one. So we're going to open this bad boy up. My hands are still wet from washing that rainbow chart over there. Perfect. So just any kind of oil. I use sesame oil too. And just a little oil to cook everything up there. Dry my hands off some. Perfect. Let's see what other, uh, you juice the stem. Yeah, that is something that I definitely love to do is juice the stem. And I would juice just the collard green stem or the stem or whatever I'm cooking. And when I tell you it tastes delicious, it tastes so good. Oh my goodness. The juice from a collard green is really, really good. And the energy you feel afterwards. Yeah, the energy you feel afterwards is amazing. That's the, the, all the nutrients are inside them. So I tell people, if you're cooking, try to cook definitely with the stem. Now, I put the garlic in last, but the shallots I go ahead and stick in now. I go ahead and put those in. They cook like onions. They don't cook like garlic to me. Garlic burns, so I put that in last because that garlic burns. So I turned my stove down just a little because I don't want it to cook so fast. My mother-in-law gave me this um, this pot here. She has so many nice pieces of cookware. She is an extraordinary cook. So I borrowed. No, she gave it to me. She actually gave me there we go. I'm going to go ahead and put this garlic in there. 
and let the flavors all go together. Now I am going to go ahead and put in a little bit of this bread. I love the bread. It gives it a flavor. Very good, yeah. I don't use other soy sauce. Chef Charlene says, waste nothing. That's right. <laughs> so funny. Charlene is the chef. Waste nothing. So I'm going to put a little bit more oil in there. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and put my pepper inside. Perfect. And then just stir that all around to get the flavors on my onion, shallots, and garlic. Get that off the sides yet. Waste nothing. I agree. It's benefiting all of the food, even the skin. I mean, I've tried to eat the skin and certain things, but it's just impossible. But you definitely don't want to waste. Let's see if my ginger. Let's turn some light over here because the sun is going down. Get some light over here. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and there we go. This peels so easy, you guys. When it's, And it's not even fully defrosted. But if you have ginger root, freeze it. Because mine used to go bad all the time. Freeze it and then it just peels. I could have got a spoon and peeled this. But it's peeling so easy with this knife. Even easier. I did it with a spoon the other week. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's all I need there. Perfect. And then I'm just going to chop this up. I love ginger in my soups. Ooh, this smells so good. Who loves ginger? When we went to Indonesia, they eat a lot of this ginger candy. Oh my goodness. And I've had ginger candy before. But you guys, let me tell you, whatever brand this was... And I, I ate it so fast that I didn't keep the brand name. It was so good. We got it in Jakarta. It was so good. I ate it like it was candy, which it was, but okay, perfect. There we go. Perfect. Now let me check my toast. Has it been 30 minutes? I don't think so. I actually like to marinate my stuff overnight, to be honest. I like to marinate my stuff a lot. Um, a lot longer. There we go. I'm going to put my carrots in here. Because we're going to put the vegetable broth inside of here as well. But I just want the carrots. They cook down. The carrots cook. Take a longer time to cook. They're like cabbage. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Yes, she is. So I am going to go ahead and just chop these up. And you can chop these up. It's almost like washing them. Brought them back to life a little bit. I know putting them in a the refrigerator brings them back to life. But washing them too. So I, I love the stems inside of here. That's what I'm telling you. Once these leaves and stuff cut down, you don't need a lot. But these stems on this rainbow chart, they are very robust. So it, it, these do not taste like collard greens. The taste for rainbow chart is totally different. I was saying in one of my earlier videos that it's almost like they taste like, I don't want to say this because I don't want to deter anybody from eating it, but they kind of almost taste like jerk. They are very strong. They have a very strong flavor. Now, some people may disagree, but it's just my taste buds. But they kind of taste like dirt. If you do not cook them and season them just like anything else. So I'm I'm the first to tell you when it comes to the first time I cooked rainbow chart, I kind of didn't know the flavor was different like that. So I did not flavor them as strong. So now when I cook them, I taste and taste and taste as I'm cooking. And I flavor and flavor and flavor. You saw I used that Aminos, uh, Bragg's Aminos. There we go. Okay. It 
has a very um strong flavored leafy green. Kale has nothing on rainbow chard in my book. I think the flavor from rainbow chard is very strong. Let's see. Okay. Mm, this smells so good. Like amazing. I, I I mean a salad, if you made a salad out of this, check this out. That is beautiful. But if you and then look at these red stems. Imagine making some kind of salad. I would love to know what kind of salad you guys would make, or if you would use a salad for this. Check this out. Isn't that beautiful? Like if you would make a salad with that, putting this, imagine putting this color all on the top of it. Ooh. People would love it. Your guest would love you for it. So I'm gonna put some salt in there because you're gonna need some salt. A little bit of pepper. Gonna need some pepper. Tell me, I have cooked rainbow chard before. And I'm just gonna saute this up a little. I need a little bit more oil. There we go. I'm gonna put this back on here. And what I'm gonna do is cook this up and let this saute. I am gonna use these leaves because they kind of got wilted a little bit. They got a little wilted out there because the windstorm knocked them off of the thing. So they were kind of um, hanging. So I don't believe in wasting them. The rest of these, I'm going to boil and blanch and get them ready for smoothies. And I got five bags of collard greens already that I've harvested. I've got, I think, two bags of rainbow chard or one bag of rainbow chard. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Spin this around. Look at the color in here. Ooh. I'm telling you, nothing like, and the, the smell is amazing, guys. I'm telling you. The smell is amazing. I got one more thing I'm going to put in here because I'm telling you, I got a flavor of this rainbow chard. It has a strong flavor. I just, I just need more flavor. I'm just being honest. Here we go. Perfect. There we go. I think I'm going to put some more because once you cook these leafy greens down like spinach, you could buy a whole big thing of spinach and I'm going to tell you, it does not give you a whole blend. So I think I got enough stems in there personally. So I'm going to save those stems for my smoothies. So I'm going to freeze those and save those for smoothies. I'm going to use just the leaves and the stems that's on the leaves inside my food here tonight for the soup for the week. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I just want to know how many people I've never thought as long as I've been gardening you all I honestly have never thought about cooking, uh, growing rainbow chard. I didn't start growing rainbow chard until two years ago. And it was only because someone gave me the seeds. That was the only reason that I started growing it. Other than that, I don't think I would have grown it. I honestly don't. So... I told you I had some more stuff in the freezer. Got my cauliflower. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to it. There we go. Perfect. Got the cauliflower in there. Perfect. See how that 
rainbow chard has already cooked down that much. You know, it's just like spinach. It's just like spinach. So we're gonna let that do its thing. And we got carrots in there. We got a lot of color. And I want vegetables, vegetables, vegetables in here. So I'm gonna add some peas in here. There we go. Let those peas cook down. Perfect. I'm just going to cover those with some of the hot vegetables already just to let these cook. Perfect. Missing a couple of things. I got a top that goes on here. There we go. Well, it's cooking down. It's defrosting. So next we are going to let this just cook down. I would love to know if you guys, thank you, Dolores. You from South Carolina, we ate dirt pies as kids. <laughs> thank God for better wisdom. I know, you know, we, we called them mud pies when I was growing up. So that's what we called them was mud pies uh, in Florida. And we ate them too. That's why my grandmother would give us, she actually would give us, Okay, yep. Yes, I ate out of my food, but this is just going for my house. I would never do that if I cook for other people, but I haven't cooked for other people in since 2020. So everything's been just for my house. So I love the color. I don't put a lot of carrots in it because my husband does not like carrots. So I have to sneak the carrots in, y'all. It's got to taste good for him to eat the carrots, so. We just got to do what we got to do. And that's what I do. This is really good. Now, I have another. Let's see. This has been marinating. Here we go. That has been marinated. So, what we can do is, I'm going to keep letting this cook. I was looking for my top. I, there we go. No, that's not it. I rearranged everything. Calling myself getting organized and I have hidden the top from myself. I sure have. Interesting. I sure have hidden the top from myself. I don't have time to find it right now because we're going to let this cook. Let those cook down. That is really bugging me. What in the world is the top? I'm going to turn this down some. And I'm going to do a makeshift top while that cooks. And I almost forgot. We are going to put our vegetable stock in. There we go. Get our veggie stock in there. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Pour that all in there. It's coming out. It's coming out. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, y'all called it mud pies too? <laughs> y'all called it mud pies too. So yeah, we ate mud pies. So I cannot find my top. That is really bugging me. So I'm going to put this on because I want this to cook down. There we go. And I'm going to leave this here. And we are going to move over. I'm just going to slide some of this out of the way here because we have got. Oh, there we go. All these, all of these rainbow chard, amazing pieces of garden goodness. So I just got this on low, letting this cook. I'm going to move this over. So come with me. Perfect. As you see, all of this cook. I got my noodle water going there. And uh, I'm going to take this and we're going to do something different. You're going to come back over here with me. Perfect. Let's see. Now, I have, I, 
one sec. I'm just, I'm sorry, I forgot y'all. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is cook up our barbecue. Well, not our barbecue, it's our tofu. It's our tofu little thingamajig, sir. So let's get that going. I was gonna cook it because I can't find my top. Oh, just found my top. See, I don't know if anybody else does that. Do you clean up your house and organize, reorganize stuff, and then you can't find it, and then, boom, there it is. I don't know why I put it in the closet in there, the tops. When all my tops go down up under here. Maybe because it's such a big top, that's why I did it. I don't know. That was really weird. Because I'm sitting there going, I know I have a top. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, that was really, really, really weird. Really weird. I normally would not do that. So we are gonna take this here and we're gonna go ahead and cook. And we're gonna use this eye back here. And this is where we're gonna cook our barbecue. I'm gonna turn this other aisle on. There we go. Perfect. So we're going to heat this up over here. And I think I'm going to use some sesame oil because it doesn't have, a, it won't overtake the flavor. So I'm going to use some sesame oil. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So we are just going to cook with this side of the pan. Excellent. I'm just going to cover this. Can you all see? Probably not. I'm going to pull you back over here. So I'm bring you back over. My other option was to pull out my George Foreman grill and stick this on the George Foreman grill. Let's see. See, I don't think you guys can see my pan right here if I do it like that. So we are going to work this out because this is not how I do it. other camera usually catches everything so we're gonna figure this out in a second Ugh. there we go we're gonna figure this out in a second because I don't want to switch but I may have to switch yeah we'll just switch so you guys can see there we go perfect Perfect. Almost perfect. It's a tricky thing with these cameras here. There we go. Okay, we're going to play with this. Because I usually have it in another spot, but I had to change. There we go. This is going to get better. Glad you enjoyed it, Dolores. So we're going to work this out here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Hated to come in this direction, but we're going to go ahead and drop these on here. They have marinated long enough. And I'm just going to spread them out and let them cook. Perfect. These should be really good. I probably should have put some on the George Foreman and let them grill up nice and crisp. I may do that just to give them a little barbecue look to them. As long as they taste good. There we go. Perfect. They are cooking up already. They are already cooking perfect. So I don't know if you guys use tofu a lot, but I just marinated these in the satay barbecue sauce. And they should do pretty well. Um, they should cook up pretty nicely. And I'm just going to leave them here. The other option that I had was to put them on a George Foreman grill and or on just any kind of grill. And I do have a stovetop grill that I could have pulled out. But... It was kind of big and bulky. I didn't really have the room to do it. There we go. And this is boiling really nicely. I'm going to put my noodles in next. But I'm just going to let this kind of 
cook up. Bring me some light over here so you can hopefully see that better. There we go, give you a little light. That is cooking up nicely here. Perfect, perfect. So we are cooking this satay barbecue and it's it's cooking up really good. And I'm just gonna flip it. I think I got enough room on here, yeah. It's got enough room. So I'm gonna let it cook here for a little bit and then I'm gonna flip it. Our soup is cooking really well. Our water is boiling. We're gonna drop those noodles in there and then we're gonna serve up some soup. How about that? We are gonna serve up some soup. In a nice bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bowl. So that way we'll be ready. Got me a little wine right here. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do wine or do um do wine or do another drink, but to go with this. But hey, we'll see. I don't think I'm gonna have time to cook my second meal tonight. I'll have to save that for another night. Because that one requires a little more frying and things like that. So that's gonna take some time. So let's pull these out. Now with tofu, you don't have to really, oh, these are cooking, okay, interesting. I don't use this one that often. I probably should just use a fork because this is not flipping. Let's try this one. There we go. Okay, yeah, these are cooking up nicely. I've never used this marinade before. I'm gonna spread it out just a little bit. Make sure they're on this aisle pretty good so they all get cooked evenly. And everything is. I may still whip out the grill because I don't know. I just like the way to look up the grill. Does. Okay, so my water is boiling, so I'm just going to grab a good amount of these noodles here and move this olive oil out of the way. Now you still can't see it, but I am going to just grab some of these noodles and cook those down. And they cook like regular noodles. These no different. Afterwards, I'm just going to drop some oil in, call it a day. There we go. Perfect. Everything's cooking down over there. My soup is boiling. Yes, it is. Perfect. Everything smells delicious. So I am checking for, I'm going to put my grill together. Because I think I am going to go for those grill marks. Yeah, I organized my house so well, I can't even find my grill. I lost my top earlier because I was reorganizing stuff, and here I am, can't find my grill. I put it somewhere because my purpose was to get everything nice and organized and make room in the kitchen for stuff because I don't have a huge kitchen. And look, I can't even find anything when I need it. I thought it was where it originally was and forgot that I moved everything. But these are cooking up nicely. But the grill is going to give them that nice little grill mark. I don't know, it's something about a grill mark. I don't think I want to use these because they are breaking up my tofu. I think I'm going to use, there we go. Because with the marinated kind of, there we go. Perfect. Should have just whipped out the fork in the first place. And I'm just going to brown these on both sides. On all four sides, I should say. Brown these on all four sides. That way they have a little crisp to them. These are looking nice. I bet they're going to taste great. Because that marinade, I tasted the marinade ahead of time. It was delicious. It was really, really good. Yeah, let me pull these over to the hot part of the pan. 
some of these are not cooking because I'm on the stove top. Here we go. Grilling on the stove top. There we go. Perfect. This marinade is amazing. There we go. Perfect. So what are you guys doing on a Saturday night? I know some people are watching some games, catching up on things. I usually do most of my cooking on Saturday nights. Or I'm at a Zoom party or something with my friends. So no party tonight. I had a party last weekend. So no party tonight. But the party's in the kitchen for me. Now, we could do a few things with this. It doesn't have to go in the soup. You can actually put these pieces of tofu inside of, you can put them on skewers. You can put them over rice. That is an option, putting them over rice. I like to brown my tofu really crispy just because I don't like text. I'm funny with textures. So my tofu has to be browned really 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 brown like crispy cream and i don't i cut mine very thin that's the other thing too i have very thin tofu i don't do i don't cook thick tofu i mean this is thick for me honestly my tofu is a lot uh thinner normally but this is pretty it smells delicious, so I know this marinade. I'm, I'm probably going to eat one of these beforehand. But I'm trying to get it crisp on each one of these sides. There we go. Just because you have to get used to the taste of the texture, not the taste, because the, te the taste of tofu takes on anything that you're cooking. But if you're trying to serve this to your family that are meat eaters, Sometimes, I know people try to pass tofu off to me like, oh, it's, you just got to, if you put the right seasoning on it. And it wasn't about the seasoning for me. It truly was about the texture. Again, I don't like texture stuff. That There we go. My noodles are doing good. Perfect. I'm going to stop those from cooking. Um, I don't like things that are gummy. I guess that's a good way to describe it. I don't like gummy food. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and pour that out, that water out on there. Perfect. Let that noodle water go. There we go. And then I'm going to cold water on these noodles. Perfect. Stick them back on there. with a dab of oil. There we go. And I'm just going to toss so I can get that oil on those noodles. Perfect. Now this tofu is cooking up nicely. I, you probably wouldn't cook it this long, but what I was saying about tofu with family members is if you are introducing your family to tofu, don't just tell them it tastes like meat because it doesn't. You know, really, oh, this smells so good. You might get fooled for a minute, but if you just don't cook it in a crispy way for first timers with tofu, people don't want to try it again, which I don't blame them because the first times I've had them, they just, mm -mm. I just needed them to be cooked a little more. So that's why certain things I cook myself because I know that it's almost like oatmeal. I cook oatmeal myself because everybody don't cook their oatmeal the same. Some people like watery oatmeal. I don't eat no watery oatmeal. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't eat watery oatmeal. That is so nasty. And I love oatmeal. But I don't eat watery oatmeal. That's nasty. I need my oatmeal to be... There we go. This tofu is cooking up nicely. And it's marinade that is on this, you guys. It is real. Hey, Jaden. 
Good to see you. How you been? I am cooking up a Japanese meal tonight. I was going to do two, but I don't think I have the time for two. Because after cooking this, I am so hungry, Jaden. Oh my goodness. I am so hungry. So I am going to eat this. And uh, I'll cook the other one tomorrow. But this was really easy. Very easy. So I'm just cooking all the sides of it to make sure it's not too chewy for me. And I was just telling people, if you're trying to introduce your family to tofu, don't don't try to tell the people that it tastes like meat because it doesn't taste like meat. It does not. Okay. So I think this tofu is a wrap. Noodles are a wrap. Tofu is a wrap. The soup should be done, but I am going to taste that. I'm always doing stuff with my hands. One of my friends saw me on one of my videos sauteing. Um, I dropped the onions on the stove without any gloves. And she was like, are we sauteing with our hands now? <laughs> and I didn't even think about it. But I guess I was sauteing with my hands. But I had, honestly, I hadn't even thought about it. Okay. So let me grab a spoon. The soup. Oh, wow. It looks like it. All I can smell is the tofu right now. The tofu marinade right now. I can't even smell the soup. But I'm going to taste this soup. See, I need to add. Because as I was telling everybody, when you cook a rainbow chard. Hmm, that's good. Hmm. I feel like I need something else. But I... I don't want to do that because it's good. Yeah, I better leave it alone. I better leave it alone. Okay, so let's go ahead and come over here. We're going to plate this up. Let me get my lights right. Are y'all ready? And I'm going to tell you, the flavors really come from... If y'all saw all I put in there, I did not put a lot of stuff in there. So you don't need... I'm just wiping my cutting board off. You don't need a lot of stuff. You do not. You don't need a lot of seasonings and all that stuff. I am like the laziest cook out there. And I hate to say that because it sounds bad. But I'm just telling you the truth. I'm going to flip my camera around. When I come over here, the camera has to be down. I have got to work this out. Because this is my first time actually going live with my tablet. I normally use my computer and it's all set up perfectly. And this is my first time not having that. So, this smells so good. So, we are going to go ahead and grab this stuff off the stove. I'm going to bring this to my jig right here. Perfect. There we go. And uh, I'm going to bring a couple other things over here so that way everybody can see them versus. Me just, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and pour these off here. Oh, these look so, they smell so good. I'm going to try one live for y'all. Just to, I have not, literally, I tasted the marinade and that's all I did. I did not try anything else. So, got the barbecue here. You saw how it was marinated. So, I'm going to go ahead and try a small piece. It's hot. I'm going to wait. It's, that's hot. I'm going to wait before I burn myself. And then we're going to bring these noodles over here. Because I want to plate all of this right here. And hopefully it cools down so I don't burn myself. Perfect. This is live cooking, you guys. Live cooking. Thought I would have time for the second meal. But that second meal is going to be delicious. I cannot wait to cook it. I really cannot. I cannot wait to cook that second one. Oh, this is... Mm -mm -mm. Just the flavors were just really, really simple. I literally used... I'm just cleaning off this because I want to get my noodles up without all the stuff on it. Perfect. Okay. So the menu was so simple. Scall shallots, onions, garlic, and what else? Yeah. Shallots, garlic, onions, one onion, half of onion, one shallot. I think I used four cloves of garlic, 
and some noodles, different kind of noodles. And we're going to go ahead and look at those bad boys there. Perfect. There we go. Drop those in there. And we got all our vegetables. I grabbed some rainbow chard out of my garden. There we go. Perfect. Get in there. Perfect. And I tasted the soup. It tastes great. That's all I used. And then I marinated this with a satay barbecue. Um, oh, I said I was going to taste it. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good, y'all. That's really good. Wow. That's real good. So I'm going to go ahead over here and grab this soup. We've got peas. I'm going to grab a lot of this broth. Get a lot of that broth in there. There we go. <clears throat> got a spice to that. There we go. Perfect. And that's it. Now you can eat it just like it is. And we can top it with this tofu. So we're going to top it with the tofu barbecue. And I'm going to do two things with this tofu barbecue. Two different things. We're going to use it two different ways. It's, it's great. Mm, it's delicious. So we got that. Now, move this out of the way. So we got one meal here. The other thing I'm going to do is we're going to sit that here. I've got some rice, some jasmine rice that I have, and we're going to make two meals out of this. So if you don't want noodles or you got leftover rice, why not go ahead and not waste your food? There we go. Do that. Going to warm this up. Let that go. And this is gorgeous. So, you know, anybody that makes food, they've got to take pictures, right? So I would be no, I would be no different. I've got to take pictures of my food. If you're not taking pictures of your food, you guys, I'm going to tell you, you should be taking pictures of your food. So I'm going to take some pictures in my shadow. Here we go. Perfect. This is is amazing but i do want to see who tries this i gotta try one more let's try one more here the best part of it as much as i don't like the crunch i mean excuse me as much as i don't like the chewiness from it tofu i would tell you this is probably one of the better ways to cook it because the chewiness with the crunch, the crisp on the outside of the tofu, you don't have that chew. That gumminess does not take precedence with the crunch that comes on the outside of this tofu. It's really good. I mean, it's really good. I'm, I'm not surprised, but I am surprised. But it was good. I can't wait to make this other dish. We're going to use uh, panko breadcrumbs, some sweet paprika, and some eggplant and some potatoes. And uh, we're going to knock that out with some curry, some Japanese curry. I don't know if you've ever had Japanese curry. There are so many curries. Oh, my goodness. And Japanese curry is just one of them. And it has a totally different taste. But this dish right here, this really looks amazing. Oh, my goodness. And the tofu was so easy to do. I literally marinated it for 30 minutes inside the refrigerator. Simple ingredients, and now we're getting two meals out of one because the rice is ready. Perfect. Okay, this rice smells so good. And this is just some leftover rice, you guys. 
So we are taking one meal that we made today in about an hour. Get this rice right. And then we're going to put some tofu, the same tofu on the top of there. There we go. And that's two meals right there. Two things. So I appreciate you guys coming along with me and I appreciate all the comments. I hope that you try some of these meals. I would definitely put the recipes inside of here. Simple, simple, simple. I love simple recipes. I love simple cooking. And this was fun. So now I'm going to eat up. So please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment, and share with anybody else. And follow the rest of my videos. Check out some of my past videos that I cooked and had guest chefs on. And uh, you saw what I grew in the garden. Here we go. If you didn't see it earlier, this is some of the stuff that I grew, the rainbow chart, and it is in our dish. So please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.